Hello, Whittier Wildcats. This is your art teacher, Jen, coming to you with another weekly drawing. This week's theme is food. And my favorite food to draw is the dancing avocado. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Today I'm gonna put my paper portrait style or hot dog so that I have lots of room. We're gonna start with drawing a circle in the middle of your paper. And that would be the pit. And see, I didn't even draw a perfect circle, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> and then we're going to draw the next part of his body, which is another circle, but stop it right there. And then we're going to do the curved line of an avocado's body. It's kind of like a pear shape, if you will. Um, now, if I'm going too fast, remember you can pause the video, rewind it, all that jazz, whatever you need to do. Um, the next step, we're going to add a little line right here that copies the line to make him look 3D. We're going to end it right here, give him kind of a 3D look. Next step, we're going to give him some eyes. So you're going to draw two circles, and then I'm going to draw a little circle inside and then the rest of it I'm going to color black or you can use your pencil. Remember I'm just using Sharpie so it's easier for you guys to see. Next up is the mouth so I'm going to do a line and then I'm going to do a curve shape like that. It'll leave some of the line poking out. And then I'm going to draw the tongue and then color in the rest. <laughs> he looks very happy. Next up, we're gonna do all those crazy arms and legs. We wanna make it look like he's dancing. So I'm gonna do one there, there. I'm gonna do his legs, like that. And then on the end of his legs, let's add a little colored in bubble. That'll be his cute little dancing feet. And up here, we're gonna give him the pointer fingers because he's very excited. So we're gonna do a curved colored in line like that. And then we're gonna keep this one going curve and he looks like he's boogieing oh yeah that's it for this one <clears throat> if you want to color you can use you don't have to color but if you want to you can use markers oil pastels uh, color pencils whatever you would like um, <clears throat> avocados are greenish kind of like a brownish green in a way um, so and the pit is kind of brownish let me color a little bit. I like to blend colors, so I'll do a little bit of brown. And then take that yellow ochre-ish color and blend it into it. Just makes it look a little more realistic. You can smush them in. That's what's great about oil pastels. That's why we use these so much in kindergarten and first grade art. Because you can do blending and they're beautiful bright colors. Can't wait to see you guys back in the art classroom so that we can use these together. I really miss seeing everyone's faces as we're hunkered down. I really miss you guys. Just wanted to let you know that. Um, okay, let's see. I'm going to do a little bit of dark green on the edge of my avocado. Then I'm going to smush a lighter green into them. Probably want to do this dark green too. This is the shadow. If it's not dark enough, I might add another layer of something darker. We'll see. And then I'm going to take the lighter green and I'm going to smush it in to the darker green. Blending, as you know. Smush, smush, smush. Don't color over those eyes, because we want them to stand out. Colored over mine a little bit, though. <laughs> Even teachers make mistakes. Oops, I did it again. You know what? It's kind of cool looking, though. Happy accident. And then, I think for the last part, I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow. So that might be too bright, but I don't care. It's my avocado. I can make it look like whatever I want. Same for you. That's pretty cool. Yummy. He looks yummy and fun. 
a fun dance partner and you could eat him when you're done dancing with him because he looks delicious. All right, art friends, that's it for this drawing. Can't wait to do some drawing with you next week. Hope you guys are well. Miss you. Bye.